I always think to myself, I wish I'd started this earlier so that I would have all the skills that I know now, plus even more I, I would have had at this time, but if I had started earlier. What is going on? Happy Thursday morning if you're listening to the podcast version of this. Happy Thursday evening if you're watching the YouTube version of this. Welcome to the Risen Fallen Podcast. I am your host, Mark Henriksen, and I just wanted to give you guys a warm, welcome, friendly, welcoming introduction to the Risen Fallen Podcast. Like I said, I'm your host, Mark. And if you are brand new to this show, if you're brand new to this podcast, then what you can expect is open and authentic conversations about things like mental health and self-development and how to get your life moving in the right direction. If you're not feeling good about where you are right now, at least having the confidence knowing that you are moving maybe 10 steps, maybe three steps, maybe one step closer to who you want to be in the future. And if you're not new to this podcast, if you've listened in before, uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much for coming back, supporting the journey, supporting the idea and the notion of making yourself stronger, at least 1% better every single day, faster, smarter, kinder, more compassionate, more patient, more happy uh, every single day. And along the way, along the journey, not only are you making yourself better, but you're lifting other people up as well. And with all that being said, um, welcome to the show. It is Thursday morning. We're pounding through this week. And one more thing, uh, actually, before we get into it. Uh, if you're watching the YouTube version of this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share this shit with people that might need to hear this message. And if you're listening to the podcast version of this, rate it five stars. Uh, go on Apple Podcasts. Leave a little review. It takes 30 seconds and it makes a world of a difference for me. Boost me in the algorithm and it gets this message out to people who need to hear it. Um, but that all, be, all of that being said, um, happy Thursday. Uh, I hope your week has been going well. We are closing in on the end of this week. It's the Friday to Friday today. So tomorrow's Friday. Uh, It's about to be the weekend. And maybe you're sitting there and you're reflecting on your life. Maybe you're sitting and reflecting on your week, uh, maybe your month, maybe the past few months, maybe just thinking about where you're at right now. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a little story and then I'm going to get into the topic that I wanted to actually chat about today. But before I do that, I'm going to take a little sip of my water here and get in the mindset, get grounded and get focused up. So if you have a drink in front of you, a coffee, a water, amino acids, protein shake, anything like that, let's take a sip together. If you got nothing in front of you, let's take a breath. Just focus in and uh, get in the mind state of self-development. I'm going to take my sip of water right now. I implore you to do the same. Had a little couple cat hairs on my mic there as well, so I had to get that off there. So there's been a lot of times in my life where I've looked at my life and I've looked at where I'm at right now and and not been pleased with it, whether it is starting a construction, starting jujitsu, starting any project I've ever started, uh, my podcast or anything like that. Um, I always think back to... I always resort back to thinking about, you know, what if I had started earlier? What if I had gotten this started earlier? And I really relate, uh, you know, the way that I think about that to the way I think about myself when, you know, maybe I've gotten a little bit out of shape. Maybe I've gotten a little bit too much debt. Maybe I got in a little bit too much trouble in one area of my life, whether it be in my health, maybe physical, maybe my mental health, maybe 
my uh, behaviors and practices surrounding that, my reading, my journaling, my exercising, my diet, my sleep, etc. cetera. Uh, maybe it has to do with my finances. Maybe I've let myself start to slip and I've start to spend too much and make a little bit less, maybe leave and work early, whatever it could be. But uh, there comes a moment in everybody's life, and, and hopefully it's not that many, but I'm sure that uh, throughout your life you've had many moments like this. There comes a moment where you reflect back on your life and you think, I wish I had started this earlier. I wish I had gotten ahead of this problem. I wish I had started to rectify this before it became an issue. I wish that I had stopped eating as much junk food and maybe exercising earlier. I wish I started my podcast five years before I did. And then I would have had to make all this progress before I even actually started. Uh, I know for myself, when I started in jujitsu, I thought, I wish that I started this when I was 16 instead of 26. By the time I was 26, I probably would have been way further advanced than obviously when I had actually started at 26, if I had started at 16. Um, in construction as well, all the time. I'm thinking, you know, if I had uh, not worked at a bunch of different jobs, for a bunch of different years, you know, and, and you just focused in and honed in on being a carpenter, doing home renovations and learning the trade and learning how to train people and hire people, learning how to do estimates, learning how to do all the paperwork, learning how to do all that stuff. I always think to myself, I wish I'd started this earlier so that I would have all the skills that I know now, plus even more, I, I would have had at this time, but if I had started earlier. Or sometimes we look back at some of our regrets, like I said before, and we think, fuck, I can't believe I didn't see this coming. I can't believe I put myself in this position. Maybe it's debt. Maybe it's, you know, you, you've got a big uh, journey in your health that you have to make. It could be your mental health. It could be your physical health. It could be anything. And that's probably why you're listening to this type of podcast, because you've had a moment like that or two in the past. And... There's a famous saying that I, I, I've said it multiple times on this podcast, and I say it to people all the time in, in my day-to-day -day life as well. There's this famous saying called, uh, I don't know what it's called, but the saying goes like this. It goes, uh, it's very simple. It's, it's basically, the best time to plant a tree is 10 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is today. And this is something I have to remind myself of all the time. Um, you know, the, you look back at the past and you think, I wish I started this earlier. I wish I got ahead of this issue earlier. I wish that I never even let this become an issue. I wish I just took care of it and nipped it in the bud and, uh, got, got rid of this, uh, so that I wouldn't have have had all this time lost. And, you know, to some degree, obviously you're right. If you had started, uh, paying attention to your finances and, and making sure that you're not spending more than you earn and make you maybe saving a little bit to put in some savings or some investments or whatever it could be. Uh, yeah, the best time to do that would have been two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, 10 years ago, uh, because then you'd have all the benefits of it now. But unless you have a time machine, and maybe you do, if you do, then fucking give it to me. Unless you have one, then your only option is to look at the future, look forward. And learn from those mistakes. Give yourself the grace. Like, uh, I, you know, I had that interview with Marcus uh, recently. You can go and check that out. But he talked about this at even as well. He said, give yourself the grace to know that you, you didn't know then what you know now. You can't be mad at yourself in the past for not knowing what you know now while you were learning it. And maybe learning it takes a little bit more time than you anticipate. Maybe learning it takes way more time than you anticipate. It could take twice as much, three times as much, 10 times as much, you know, effort, loss, time, money, etc. to learn the lesson that you needed to learn. And everyone has a different learning curve. Every activity has a different learning curve. Every, everybody learns at a different pace. But at the end of the day, you can't look back at the past and say, oh, I wish I knew this. I wish I started doing this. I wish I started working on this because your options are pretty limited. You don't get to go back and change that. You get to look at how you're going to behave in the future. You get to look at, okay, what can I do now? So what? You know, like I used to, uh, there, there used to be this, this uh, saying in sales. It was, some will, some won't, so what's next? And... You know, this was more relating to some people are going to buy from you. Some people are not going to buy from you. So what's next? But the idea behind it is what's next? 
you know? Somebody says no to you, somebody you get rejected by someone else or by something in life. You get rejected by it, you lose, you you get hurt, you get injured, you get you suffer some sort of a loss. So what's next? You know, you you have the opportunity to build whatever future you'd like. You are the author of your own book. And you can spend your time wallowing in the idea of you know, I didn't start this project early enough. I'm, I'm getting too old now. I'm getting too sore now. I'm getting too broke now. I'm getting too, you know, there's all these excuses we're going to justify and, and we're, they're going to convince us not to make any changes in our life because it's going to keep us in our comfort zone. Changes are uncomfortable. Changes are difficult. But remembering the phrase, the best time to plant a tree is 10 years ago. The best, second best time to plant a tree is today is knowing that you have the opportunity today to plant whatever seeds you want, um, to be able to reap whatever benefits you want in the future. If you, if you wish, oh, I wish I started skateboarding 10 years ago instead of starting right now where I have no skills, um, well, guess what? You're not going to get any more fucking skills unless you actually start doing the thing that you wish that you would have started 10 years ago. If you don't start it today, you're never going to get better. You're never going to see progress. And so what are you going to do? Are you going to look back at your life and say, oh, I made this mistake or I didn't do this thing and that would have projected me way further along my life than I am today? Or are you going to look at your life and say, wow, I wish I started that thing 10 years ago, but I didn't. So I'm going to fucking start it today and so be it. That's the way that life goes. You know, none of us have a time machine. And so we're going to have to just become the creators of our own future and think about all the things that you wish that you had started before in the past. If you really do wish, if you really do have some passion towards it, start it today, make today your day one. There's that other corny ass saying that I see in posts all the time. It's, it's one day or day one. And you can think, Oh, one day I can do this or fuck. I should have done this way before. Or you can look at life and say, this is day one of my progress. This is day one of my journey. I'm going to start a new hobby. I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to start a new job. I'm going to look for a new place to live. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But today is day one. And I'm going to start the progress today. And I know that there's going to be setbacks. I know that there's going to be issues. I know I'm going to get hurt. I know it's going to make me suffer. I know I'm going to have to invest some time, energy, finances, like everything you've got. But you're going to see the benefits. You're going to start a new journey. You're going to learn new skills. You're going to become smarter. You're going to become better. You're going to become tougher. You're going to become more passionate. You're going to become more compassionate. You're going to become more patient. And you're going to feel yourself get a brand new energy. Because, I, I, you know, when you become a student of anything, when you become, you know, uh, stimulated by some sort of growth when you start to connect the dots and see how different pieces of different puzzles move it fills you with energy it fills you with passion it fills you with the opportunity to learn and to get better and that feeling right there is addicting and so to think think of it this way the the most amount of friction you're going to feel is in the beginning when you start something off you know, like, uh, it's simple physics, like inertia objects in motion will stay in motion and objects, uh, that are stagnant or still will stay stagnant or still. I think that's the definition of inertia to what I understand. I didn't fucking look it up, but that that's the way I view it. And the reason I bring that up is because the most amount of friction you're going to feel the most difficult time will be day one, the beginning. Because you're not doing something and then you're going to start doing something. And it's easier to continue to do something that you're already doing than it is to stop doing something or to start doing something. Um, So if you really truly do want this to be your day one of your new journey, of your new hobby, of your new job, of your new life, you just have to understand that this is going to be the hardest day, day one. You just have to get started. And once you get started, as long as you can consistently do whatever it is that you wish you started doing 10 years ago, as long as you can consistently do some version of it, some form of it, set aside five minutes, 15 minutes of your time, or if you're really dedicated, set aside an hour of your time every single day and start 
practicing, start studying, start investing your time and energy and money into that thing. Because time is going to go by no matter what. Five years is going to go by, 10 years is going to go by, 15, 20, 30 years. And would you rather look back and say, wow, I wish I started this. And, and think of it this way. Your reality right now, you, you think back, oh, I wish I started this thing five months ago, six months ago, a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. In 30 years, do you want to be saying the exact same thing? Oh, I wish I started this 35 years ago. Or do you want to say to yourself, hey, I wish I started five years earlier, but I'm so thankful that I started 30 years ago and now I have 30 years of experience. Because the time is going to go by no matter what. Whether you start doing this thing or you, st- or you don't. And so in five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, do you want to be thanking yourself for smartening up and looking at yourself hard in the mirror and say, I wanted to do this thing and, and I fucking did it? Or do you want to be looking back at yourself and kicking yourself in the ass and say, I wish I started this five years ago, 30 years ago, and then I never made any choice to, to make any progress in this thing. And now I wish I started it 35 years ago. Something to think about as we roll into this weekend. You know, you can take the time, if you have the day off work one day this weekend, you can take some time to think back at some of the mistakes you've made in life. You know, oh, I have too much debt now. Oh, I'm getting a little bit overweight. Oh, I'm getting a little bit skinny. I'm getting a little bit behind. I'm getting a little bit fatter. I'm getting a bit slower. I'm getting a bit more out of shape. I'm getting a little bit further away from my partner and my relationship. I'm getting a little bit this, that, whatever issue, struggle you have in your life, looking back at at it and dwelling in the negativity is never going to make your situation better. But if you look at your life and you say, hey, I have this issue. I wish I did this earlier. I wish I made this progress earlier in my life. I didn't fucking do it. So what? What am I going to do now? Do I want to get one step closer to that right now? Or do I want to wallow in that for a little bit longer? And the choice is yours. There's no way that anyone can help you with that. There's no way that anyone can make that decision for you. It's going to be up to you. And uh, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, even myself, I'm hoping that I can find the strength to, to make some of these changes in my life. And I'm hoping that you can find that strength as well to make some changes in your life. And if you uh, feel like you need a little bit of help with that, you can reach out to me on Instagram. It's at Risen Fallen. I can get you connected with the Risen Fallen group that we have on Telegram where we have daily conversations about this type of stuff. And if you want to get involved in the in-person meetups as well, we go on hikes, we go to coffee shops, we do tons of different cool things. Uh, meet up in person, just creating a little bit more connectivity and a little bit more community. Um, and if you want to get involved in that, please let me know. Reach out to me on Instagram at Risen Fallen. And all that being said, I hope you guys have a good weekend. I will catch you all on Monday. I am very thankful for you all. Go out and have the best end of the week possible and have the best weekend possible. And I will catch you all on Monday. Much love and peace out, you beautiful human beings. Bye. We'll